everyone. Welcome to another edition of Sunday Chat. Today I wanted to talk to you about making sure you've gotten everything taken care of. Your wills, your living will, and your power of attorney. I don't know if your state might need something as well, but I think those are the three basic documents. So often we don't do this. Not only is it uncomfortable to think about, but we think it's going to be expensive and extremely tedious and detailed. It doesn't have to be. I'm going to put some links to lo below where you can download them for free and you can do it yourself. You don't even need a lawyer. There are some forms that do need to be notarized. You can usually get that done at a bank. So it doesn't have to be complicated. Now is it uncomfortable to think about and depressing of if you know you get hit by a bus and when do you want life support and when don't you and who are you going to leave what to? Of course it is. But given that, don't you think it's even more important that you have that taken care of now before it comes to that time? And I would also encourage you for anybody in your family, especially if you're going to be taking care of them, your parents, to have this in place as well. When they are sick and dying is not the time to be arguing with siblings to figure out what you think mom or dad would have wanted. Have it taken care of ahead of time. The other thing is, I'm going to put a link below to a safe that you can keep that's fireproof. You put it in there in a sealed envelope and nobody has to see whatever your wishes are until the time is appropriate. I think so often we procrastinate on things because they're uncomfortable and I think that we really need to have these things taken care of so that our wishes are honored and that it is as unemotional and as the least difficult possible when we do get to those times. To bury our head in the sands isn't going to make those times not happen. So I think it's easier to deal with those things now. I typically try to revisit all of my documents at the beginning of the year and see if there's anything maybe that's changed. You always think, oh no, it's all fine. And then you suddenly look and realize, oh, I didn't realize that I did that or you know that person's now passed away or things have changed. So it's good to refresh those documents on a regular basis. So I'd like to encourage everybody today to get those in place for yourself, for your parents, your grandparents, anybody that especially you will be involved in their final wishes. That way it's documented and you know that you're doing what they want. And when you have it documented, you know that everyone will be carrying out your wishes. I know that this is an uncomfortable topic, but procrastinating on it doesn't mean that you never have to deal with it. And it's better to deal with it when you have your full presence of mind, you haven't been diagnosed with some catastrophic illness, you aren't trying to deal with doctors and all kinds of other things. If it's this uncomfortable to deal with now, like I said, think how much more uncomfortable it would be to deal with later. So I'd like to encourage everybody today to make sure you have at least a living will, a will, and a power of attorney in place. I hope that this was helpful, even though it's not a fun topic. I think it's very necessary. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.